This is the best 11 that an AI came up with. The best 11 GPT. Um, if you don't know what GPT is, this is pretty much like an AI that, uh, I don't know, does all kinds of stuff. Um, how do we feel about this 11? I'm going to be honest with you. The AI is probably the closest thing to write I've ever seen in my entire life. This 11 makes so much sense. I would only change one person. I, I, this makes so much sense, bro. So much sense. Um, and I think this is the greatest 11 of all time. I never agree with best 11s, but I got to be honest with you. This one is hitting different. The only thing I would change is Sergio Ramos. L or W. It's the only thing I would add to this guy, to this chat, chat, chat GPT. Um, this is an incredible, incredible 11. Uh, and I understand why, like Buffon, Neuer, Casillas, I could see any of them get in the spot. So I, I completely, fully, 100% respect that decision. Um, would you guys put, uh, would you guys put Ramos in this team, yes or no? That's my question to you. Would you put Ramos in this team, yes or no? Yes or no? 100% yes. I would 100%. Yes, absolutely I would. Yeah. Love you, brother. Thank you for the 22 months. I'm having a great day. I hope you're having a good day, man. Um, someone said, would you not put Roberto Carlos? Maldini played left back most of his career. Now, the one thing I want to say is this, this guy right here. A lot of y'all are going to give him a hell L because he had a bad FIFA card. Chat, give me a one if you agree. A lot of people are going to give this guy an L because he has a bad FIFA card. But the truth is, I've never seen him play, so I can't answer. But I would probably change him out for Sergio Ramos. But I don't know because I didn't see him like that. So I can't really say it like that because I never seen him like that. But the only thing I would change is, is there anyone you would add into this team that's a must, like a must? For me, it's Sergio Ramos. Puyol is better than Sergio Ramos. I think Buffon was better than Casillas and Neuer. I think Buffon was better than Casillas and Neuer. I think he was, lads. I think he was. Because let me explain why. Let me explain why really quickly. Let me explain why really quickly. And I know you guys are going to give me an L. I know you guys are going to give me an L, but let me explain something. When you do the greatest of all time, you take their whole career. Boy, Buffon was even good when Juve didn't have the best teams in front of him. Neuer and, and Casillas usually had the best teams in front of them. When Casillas left to go to Porto, he wasn't the same when he didn't have all them big boys in front of him, right? So in my opinion, at the end of the day, um, I believe Buffon proved to be such a great keeper because he wasn't on the best teams always. Does that make sense? Like, Neuer had crazy Bayern teams ahead of him. Like, he had Bo Boateng ahead of him. Um, in my opinion, I think Buffon showed it with the best teams and the, un and the lesser teams. So, in my opinion, I, I respect... Someone said that's a terrible take. Well, first of all, it's not my 11, okay? I'm just telling you why I understand it. It's not my, I didn't pick the, chat, give me a one if you understand I didn't pick the 11. People are saying that's a terrible take. I didn't come up with this fucking take, bro. I'm just showing you what the AI came up with, and I'm telling you why I understand Buffon is okay to be in there. For me, here's the truth, and you guys can give me an L. Neuer's not better than Khan. So how are you the greatest goalkeeper when we don't even know if you're the greatest German goalkeeper? Yes or no? That's the question I have for you right now, lads. Don't, 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 don't think about me. Do you agree with this AI? Team needs a de defensive mid. Guys, with all respectfully. With, with, all, with all due respect, chat, respectfully. Do you understand when someone puts a best 11, you're not actually going to go play a game with them? Like the fact that you're like, oh shit, man, the team needs a defensive mid. Oh my God, bro. You're not actually going into a game with the team. It's just you have to pick 11 of the best players of all time and you kind of just throw them in.
You know what I'm saying? Like, we're not actually about to go into the weekend league with this shit. And we're like, oh, we need better work rates in this bitch. What are we talking about here, lads? It's just the best 11. Look, Cruyff is playing center mid. You think Cruyff really out here playing center mid with Maradona? No. It's just the best 11 players. Do you rate this or do you not rate it? Best 11 at the left wing position, Cristiano Ronaldo. Personally, personally, I want to say this. I like this take and I also dislike this take. Let me explain why. I believe Cristiano Ronaldo was more... Ah, shit. I'm about to get L's for this, but I don't care. I believe Cristiano Ronaldo was more effective central than as a winger. Yes, he was still one of the best wingers to ever play the game, but I think Cristiano Ronaldo was a more effective player when he got moved inside by Mourinho than when he was outside. He was so deadly as a left winger. But I'm going to be 100% honest with you. When Ronaldo went inside, when Mourinho put him inside, that's when he turned into an absolute demon, I think. Um, um, because who remembers Ronaldo in the beginning of his career? Chad, he did too many stepovers. He tried a bit too much. Um, I think he was more effective when he went inside. Like for me, when I think about Ronaldo, do you think about him as playing central or playing out on the wing? Be honest with me. Like, what do you, when you think about Cristiano, where do you think? Of, I think about him as a goal getter. I think about him as an ex, like a, a, a player that scored a stupid amount of goals and could run at people, but he was more like, is, is Ronaldo, you guys are saying wingers, really? You think about him as a winger? A winger like Salah. Y'all think about Ronaldo as a winger? Really? A winger? Yeah? Really? Damn. A winger. Wow. That's actually, that's crazy. So if you guys think about him as a winger... If you guys think about him as a winger, he's got to be closer to the greatest of all time than, than I imagine. Because now he's doing that as a midfielder. So you're telling me he's like more of a midfielder? You're telling me you think he scored that many goals as a winger? What y'all view him more? I view him more as an, like, a winger? I want to talk about this with y'all right now, bro. This is, what's, this is what's important. Anyways, so you view Ronaldo as a winger? Y'all got, then okay, then this got it right. Okay, Ronaldo's a winger. Ronaldo's a winger. All right, cool. Um, Pele at the nine, we agree, right? Pele at the nine, we agree? Yes, yes or no? I, I agree. I agree with this. I think it... Uh, I agree with this whole team. I ain't gonna lie with you. This is the best 11 I've ever... I, look, man, I, I follow ESPN. I follow, follow Sky Sports News. I follow all of the football outlets, bro. And I'm telling you, this is the best ball knowledge starting 11 I've ever seen in football. L or W. You guys can give me an L if you want. This is the best 11 I've ever seen. And a computer came up with it, which is crazy. A computer came up with the best 11 I've ever seen. Like, this makes me not even want to argue any of them. I want Ramos in this team really bad. But it's hard for me to say that because I didn't really watch these guys play. So I don't know if they were what they were. You understand? No Ramos. I want him, but Chad, do you know enough about these guys to bench them? Yes or no? That's what I'm trying to tell you. I don't know enough about these guys to bench them. You guys know enough about them for real? 
damn, you guys know enough about them to bench them? I watched clips. <sighs> Skills, who's your captain on this team? Maldini. Maldini. Maldini's my captain on this team. Because when Ronaldo starts throwing his hands up and down, I need Maldini to go yell at him a little bit. I need Maldini to yell at him a little bit. I'm going to need Maldini to get in Ronaldo's face and tell him, Kalama. When Ronaldo goes like, hey, yo, I'm open. I'm going to need Maldini to go over there and be like, hey, yo, hey, hey, shh, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. It's okay. It's okay. Calm down. You know, give me a one if you agree here, chat. Thank you so much for the 21 months, man. I uh, appreciate that, brother. Appreciate that very much, man. Also, uh, thank you to um, Panda for the two months. Um, listen, there's a lot I want to say about this team, right? I don't know enough about Pele. I don't know enough about Cruyff. I don't know enough about Maradona. I don't know enough about these center backs. And I don't. And that's where I leave it. So if you remove the guys I didn't watch, Maradona, Cruyff, Pelé, and the two center backs, now I can give you my starting 11. You guys want to hear it? Yes or no? I fully understand if you guys don't want to hear it. But if you do want to hear it, I'll tell you it. Sure? I would move Maldini to center back because I remember Maldini more as a center back than a left back. But that's because of my childhood. I don't remember. I remember him more as a center back than a left back. Okay. The greatest left back I've ever seen in my life is Marcelo. So I put Marcelo here and Maldini here. Is that, is that respectful? Yes or no? I don't know if that's respectful or not. But um, um, up next, I'm going to put Sergio Ramos here. So it's going to be Marcelo, Maldini, Sergio Ramos, respectfully. At the right back position, for me, it's always been between Donny Alves and a guy called Mike Hahn because I remember Cafu's career, but I don't remember it well enough. Since Donny Alves is officially part of Prison FC, he it automatically eliminates himself. Cafu, Donny Alves, Lam, and Mike Hahn. How do you guys feel about my list? It is very hard for me to make the, the, the decision between this position. It's very close. Cafu, Mike Hahn, Dani Alves, and, um, and um, Cafu. Wait, did I say Cafu twice? Did I say Cafu twice? It's a very hard one, man. Who would you guys put here, chat? I'll put whoever you are. Let's stick with Cafu. All right, so now we got Marcelo, Maldini, Ramos, Cafu. I'm fine with that. Chat. Respectfully, with all due respect, hear me out, chat. I'm not picking Donny Alves. Give me a one if you agree. Chat, I cannot put someone in my starting 11 that's being accused of what he did. I'm sorry. Uh, Marcelo, Sergio Ramos, Maldini, Mike Hahn. Um, We move on. Uh, midfield. So this is where it gets interesting for me with this, with this um, chat the 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 GPT chat, yeah. Um, are we allowed to put Cruyff and Maradona as midfielders? Because I've always thrown like Modric and players like this in there, Vieira, but I didn't know we could put Cruyff and Mar and, and and Maradona in there. And I actually love the fact that they did this because this is the best eleven of all time, and I agree with that. I agree with that. I I I agree with that. I actually like yo. If this is the best 11 of all time, then yeah, like, like someone here said, I take Modric over Cruyff. No, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. You, no, you wouldn't. You wouldn't do that. But no one would do that. No one that watches ball would ever say that Modric is better than Cruyff. If you know history of football, you're not going to put Modric above Cruyff, right, chat? Like, that's, that's being, like, delusional. Like, come on, man. There's no way that we're actually putting... Mo Modric is one of the best midfielders ever, but over Cruyff? Oh, 
over Cruyff? Did you watch Cruyff? Chat, there's certain names that like you, you didn't have to watch. You just got to listen to what your elders tell you, right? Like Pelé, Maradona, Cruyff. There's certain names you kind of got to listen. Right, chat? Do you guys agree or disagree? Like there's certain names that like when you hear them, you go like, okay, no, you know what? I understand. I'm not going to argue that one with you. Like there's certain names, right? Certain names, right? Like if I come to you right now and I'm like, hey, yo, lads, you know, like, uh, you know, um, Tupac. Tupac was that guy, but you were just born now and you're, you're, you're not going to be like, nah, Tupac's not. You're going to be like, oh, yeah, I kind of get you, right? Because it's, does that make sense, chat? Like Tupac and Biggie, like you didn't have, you just know because of what you heard. And you know what I mean? Like there's certain, that's different. How is that different? Cruyff is not that guy. Let's watch highlights, chat. With all due respect, you cannot judge a player's football career off of highlights. Let me explain why. Ronaldo has a better highlight tape than Messi. It doesn't mean that he's better than Messi. Messi is at the moment is the GOAT. That's how we have it. Ronaldo has a better highlight tape than Messi. That's Cap? You don't think so? He don't? Really? You don't think? A highlight tape? I think he does, lads. No? Messi runs with the ball and then Ronaldo's doing skill moves when he was a baby. Who has a nicer tape? I think Ronaldo's tape would look better. No? Because Messi did... Messi's... Messi was like unbelievable runs and dribbling, but it wasn't like skill moves type of shit. No? Personally, this is what, I, this is what I'm saying to you. On a tape, Ronaldinho and Figo have better tapes than Messi and Ronaldo. Ronaldinho and Figo have better tapes than Messi and Ronaldo. It doesn't make them more better than them. It's just the, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, you can't really judge a play on tapes. There's a lot of people with a lot of good tapes. Play a video. Lads, if I pull up a Figu video right now, you're going to be like, nah, this is fucking crazy. Figu looks like the greatest of all time. 